everyone, Valerie here. I am back again to share with you my 6th graders homeschool curriculum for the 2017-2018 school year. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to have him doing the Money Matters for Teens this year, both reading the book and working through the workbook. If you saw last week, I have, I'm also having my 8th grader do this. Some subjects they do together. Well, not really together, but they do the same uh, workbook. Uh, for that subject and this group of uh, subjects I'm going through right now they actually both will be doing so you might have already seen these last week but I just want to go over it again so that way I can share my entire sixth grade curriculum for the year. For Spanish again you will be continuing in the Pimsleur's audio um, lesson. These are CDs and there are five of these boxes with 16 lessons in each in each box and he'll be continuing on with this and if he finishes this box he'll be continuing on to level two um, also for Spanish he'll be continuing and finishing this basic structure Spanish book two for the year and Latin he will be continuing and finishing up this Latin for Children Primer B, which is part two in this series, and there's one more series, one more book to this series, which he will be continuing on the following school year in seventh grade. For math, he's going to finish off the Saxon Math Level 7 slash 6, and then when he's done with that, he will actually be moving ahead in math and move on to the level 8 slash 7, the same level that my 8th grader is in because my 8th grader is a little behind and my 6th grader is um, right now where he should be, but he will be a little ahead by the end of the school year next year. Okay, moving on to penmanship. I bought him this Pen Time Cursive level 6 book and he will be doing about a page or two of these um, a week and he'll just continue practicing his cursive penmanship to get better and faster. He has beautiful penmanship as it is but he writes super duper slow so hopefully this will help him to feel a little more confident in his penmanship and he may or he may not pick up the speed. Either way is fine. For science he will be finishing off his Apologia Exploring Creation with Chemistry and Physics. He has a little bit left of this book to complete and once he's completed that in about I think two to four weeks of the beginning of the school year he will move on to his Apologia Botany course and he will finish this for that school year. His grammar this year will be Saxon's Grammar and Writing Level 6. Now we do sign language as a group with all three grades, all four kids, and the sign language we're using is Sign Language for Everyone by Dr. Kathy Rice. We have the DVD lesson where the lady is um, on video teaching you the signs, and we also have the book that has an illustration of all of the hand gestures. We'll be continuing that. I'm not sure if we will finish the book in the year, but um, I'm not in a rush to finish the book and even if we finish it we might you know kind of start it over and keep reviewing the ones that we need to continue learning. We also do history all together with all the boys. I have my 8th grader, my  6th grader, and two 2nd two, uh, graders and we will also have a newborn <laughs> soon. So we're doing Mystery of History Volume 2 which covers the early church through the Middle Ages. We will continue this and hopefully finish this book that school year. So I did mention in my 8th grade curriculum video that um, we will be doing four days a week doing book work and have Friday or, a f or that fifth day a week <clears throat> um, either doing fun things, hands-on things, or life skills or appointments or field trips or stuff like that. So some of the more fun type of curriculum things that I got was this cookbook called Cook It and this is by DK, DK, that's all it says. And it has pretty cool recipes, some breakfast recipes, appetizer recipes, main meals, 
and even some sweet baking items. And I think that they will really enjoy helping me learn how to bake and cook some simple meals that would be easy for kids to, uh, to make and enjoy. And for art, we're going to be doing this Making Amazing Art, 40 Activities Using the Seven Elements of Art Design. So we'll be doing this on and off throughout the year on our Fun Friday. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Friday, but on our one day of no book work Friday, our, our day I mean. <laughs> Another thing they can use for fun occasionally is this Brainetics DVD, and this helps them to quickly solve mathematical problems in their head without using paper. And they've already gone through that, but again, they enjoyed it, and it's actually been quite a few years since they've used it. They'll also be doing this 14-in-1 educational solar robot kit and it has these 14 robots that you can make out of this one kit and when you put it in the sun that robot will actually move crawl roll walk whatever it is and the last thing that my sixth grader will be doing with his older and younger brothers is occasionally this create a story board game which is a creative writing game and I personally can't wait to use this with all of them and I think it'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully they really like it. Okay, for the things that we don't have physical books for, my sixth grader will be doing Bible with all of us as part of group work and we use the Easy Peasy website. We'll be continuing in the New Testament where we left off last year. For spelling, he is in seventh grade spelling and we use gradespelling.com. It's a free website for first through eighth grade spelling. You do everything right there on the website from games to crossword puzzles, even to the tests that you can email the results to the parent once they've completed it and it'll tell you their percentage and everything. For typing, he will continue using typingtest.com and occasionally we will throw in learninggamesforkids.com slash keyboarding. I will have all these links in the description box below if you're interested in checking any of them out. For music, he may or may not be continuing with guitar. If you saw my 8th grade curriculum video, it's the same reason. We are not sure if their guitar instructor will be available to continue teaching them because he is starting college himself uh, next year um, when my boys start uh, middle their new grades in middle school. For PE, we will continue going to the gym. My husband teaches fitness uh, group exercise classes, so we do go to the gym a couple times a week. So he will come along with us then, and also he will continue in his wrestling practice for PE as well. And other things like life skills, which some of them I already mentioned, we'll be doing things at home like the learning how to bake and cook, the robotic thing. Occasionally I will throw in some logics like maybe a Sudoku uh, <clears throat> printout or a puzzle or something like that and we will work on those things as well. And that is everything for my sixth graders curriculum next year. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please if you have give it a like and definitely share and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. and an occasional bonus video on Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!